what's in my camera bag for 2024. We're gonna do it slightly differently this time because I'm gonna have a what's in my video camera bag and also what's in my photography camera bag because they are quite different. So we're gonna get straight into what's in my video camera bag first. So first up, let's get into the cameras and it'll be the exact same whether it's for photography or videography and that's the Canon R6 Mark II and also my new B camera now, which I only got a couple weeks ago, and that is the Canon EOS R7. These two will be my main A and B cameras. My R6 Mark II will be my main beast for everything. They both can shoot C-Log3. They both can shoot 10-bit 422, 4K, 50p. They both are amazing cameras and I love them both so much. And now the main lens that I will be pairing the R6 Mark II with for video and probably photo too for about 90% of the time will be my brand new Tamron 24-70 f2.8. This lens is absolutely amazing, a must have for every photographer or videographer. It's the most versatile lens. I've heard it's been called the lazy lens before, and it probably is because you've got 24 all the way to 70. So my Tamron 24 to 70, but a perfect video lens for handheld movements in my opinion. And then also if you can fit it on a gimbal, I think it'll be a brilliant gimbal lens. However, because I have my R6 Mark II on a cage and I actually have the DJI RS3 Mini, which is the next thing that I'm gonna be packing into my camera bag, it's a little bit of a struggle with the cage, but if I take the cage off, I can just manage to balance the R6 Mark II with the Tamron 24-70 f2.8, even with the EF to RF adapter. But if I don't want to put it on my gimbal, my main gimbal lens will actually be the Canon RF 35mm f1.8. It's great because it's f1.8 over f2.8. It's got 35mm, one of my favorite focal lengths as well. It's really light, so it's easy to balance even with the cage. So as soon as I want to take off the gimbal and I want to go handheld, I've still got my cage ready for my rig to go. And my 35mm will live in this pocket of my camera bag. And the thing with the DJI RS3 Mini, what I love about it is that I don't actually have to attach it to the outside. There is room inside the camera bag for me to go. But I do have to take off the tripod bit at the bottom and remove that part as well and put that in there. And then you pack down the gimbal and then it fits nice and snug into this side pocket here. But the only thing I'd say that's annoying with it is that it does stick out a little bit, but there's enough padding in this bag for when it shuts, it's perfectly fine. I've done it before. And I just love that I can bring my gimbal in my bag with me. And that's one reason why I went with the RS3 Mini over the others, because it's small and it's super light as well. Because that's one thing I hate about gimbals, especially if you're putting a 24 to 70 on it as well, they get so heavy and my back really starts hurting as well. So I love that it's really small and light. But that's not the only thing for the gimbal. I do have these two accessories as well, which is a small rig handle that you can go into briefcase mode. And also you can just have two hands on it, which makes it a little bit more comfortable on your back. And I also have this monitor to mount for when I actually want to put my monitor on top on the gimbal so I don't have to use the back screen and this can just go snug right here. So now we've talked about my main lens for that camera. Well, the main lens that I will be using with my R7 will be my 70-200 f2.8. This is the EF version Mark II. Now I would love the RF and I am actually really considering selling this lens and putting it towards the RF version, mainly because of the actual size and weight of it. This is a really heavy lens and it is long and it is quite a pain to bring around with me because if I don't have this main bag, then it normally just gets left at home. But that does an excuse of how good of a lens this is. This is my favorite lens. Now I've got the Tamron 24-70, I do think that will actually beat it to my favorite lens, but I haven't had that lens long enough yet for it to be my favorite lens. 70-200 f2.8, super shallow, super sharp. The compression is amazing. You just can't beat it for photo or video. So this stays in my camera bag all the time, whether it's for video or photo. And that goes right here. And without the adapter, it fits in perfectly well. But as soon as you put the adapter on it, it does extend a little bit and it does get a little bit too big. The next thing that's going into my camera bag is my DJI Mini 2 drone. I would love to upgrade this drone to either the DJI Mini 3 or 4, or maybe even the Mavic Air 3 or Air 2S still, because that's still an amazing drone. And I just overall would love the new controller as well, because I hate connecting my phone up. And that fits right in here, nice and snug. And then the controller goes into this middle part here. And I also have the batteries but they go into one of the zip pockets, which we won't get into today. Now, I did actually put my RF 35mm in this part here. However, I actually might change it now because I've just thought, the reason why I put it in here is because in this side next to my drone, that is where I normally have my 50mm f1.8. However, now I have my 24 to 70 f2.8, I don't think I'll be bringing this lens with me anymore all the time for video. So for now, this is staying at home and my 35mm is going in this bottom right-hand corner, which leaves this middle spot 
for a lot of other accessories that I like to bring. And one of them will be my DJI mic, which is what I'm recording on right now to get this audio. And this is perfect for interviews, for wedding ceremonies, wedding speeches, and I used it last time on my latest wedding video, and I was blown away with the audio, how crisp it was, how good it is, how easy it is to set up, and that just slots in to this compartment right here, along with my filters. Now, in my filter set, this is where I have mainly what I use are my ND filters, and they, that goes right next to my DJI mic in this middle compartment. Another lens that I do like to bring for video, and again, now I have my 24 to 70. I'm not sure if it will fit into this bag, and it's my 16 to 35 millimeter F4. If I don't bring it, this is where I will be putting my monitor, which is the Feel World, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's just a Feel World 5.5 inch monitor, I think. So my monitor will go in here, and to actually pair up with my monitor will be my top handle and my side handle. And I also have on top a small rig monitor mount, and then on top of that as well i have a whole lot quick release plate and what i love about this quick release plate is that i've put one on the bottom of my monitor so all i have to do once i'm ready to shoot is i pull this little lever down put it on and it's on these will be living in here this can just lay on top and also eventually i will be probably putting a shotgun mic in here as well i do at the minute have the rode video mic go and this can just live on top of my 7200 for now however i do want to upgrade this eventually to maybe the rode ntg or maybe even the rode video mic go too that looks like a big upgrade over the original go and now for my photography camera bag for 2024 this will mainly be shooting for weddings for starters all my small rig accessories and my monitor this is all coming out. I will not be needing this. I won't be needing my DJI mic, my gimbal, obviously. This will be going, and people might moan at me for this, but same for my filters. I don't bring my filters with me and the mic, but what comes in is my RF 50mm 1.8. Like I said, I love this for candids, I love this for low light, and I love the 50mm focal length. So this will be coming with me for my wedding photography kit in 2024. And again, unlike a video, this will be coming with me mainly for the dance floor. Again, now I have my 24 to 70 f 2.8. Probably won't be used as much as I used to it for because I used my 24 to 70 on the dance floor last wedding and I loved it. So I will be using it on my next wedding as well. But that is my 16 to 35 millimeter F4. Again, I'm filming on it. That will be going in this back compartment right here. And what replaces my DJI RS3 Mini is my Godox V1 Flash. This sits right on top of each other with this accessory pouch and also the flash itself. They fit perfectly into this camera bag and I will be bringing this everywhere with me. Whenever I do photo shoots, especially for weddings, it's perfect for the dance floor, it's perfect for some speeches sometimes, and you can get some really creative shots at night with flash as well, which is why it always comes with me. That is everything, that is everything in my camera bag for video and photo for 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you think, leave your comments down below what you think of my setup, do you like it? Thank you very much for watching, and if you did like this video, you actually might like this video up here, why I chose the R7 over the R8. APS-C versus full frame, why did I go with an APS-C sensor over a full frame when the R8 has the same sensor as my Canon R6 Mark II? Well, if you watch this video next, you'll actually find out why.